Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's Katya here and I have a fun tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make a couple of versions of slimline card envelopes. So what's great about these two versions is you only need one sheet of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So let's get started. In one of my recent videos, I shared this Celebrate Shaker card. Remember my nightmare story of creating it? <laughs> well, now that's behind me, thankfully. But now since slimline cards are becoming quite trendy, I decided to set out to make an envelope using only one sheet of paper. On screen, I'll be demonstrating how to make these two envelopes using 65 pound colored cardstock to make it easier for you to see, but you could easily certainly use white thinner copy paper instead. Now on screen, I'm gonna show you how to make this first one, which is two inches at the top and 2.5 inches at the bottom. And this is gonna be the top flap opening envelope. So let's start creating this top folding envelope. I'm scoring both sides at one inch. And incidentally, I picked up this Teflon bone folder by Craft Treat. It is an ergonomically designed bone folder and comes two to a pack via Amazon. And the other one that comes with it is a standard size. And I have to say that I'm really liking both of them. I decided to use them first before I gave you the verdict on them. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you're interested in checking them out. So while you're watching me demonstrate my exceptional scoring and folding skills, <laughs> don't worry about the measurements for the templates because in the description box below, I have a two page PDF document that you can download for free that has all of the measurements for both of these envelopes. Now that the scoring is complete, it's time to cut the corners to create the flaps. You can cut them into the rectangles that you see here on screen, but I find it to be a little cleaner and neater if you take off just a small sliver at an angle. The flaps are less bulky this way and it looks a bit more polished, and I will show that to you in just a moment. So I'm speeding this portion up of the video so you don't fall asleep, because I know I would. <laughs> But this is just a quick look to see how I cut each corner off. When all the cutting and scoring is finished, I will fold the flaps and you'll see that you get a much nicer finish if you take off just a small sliver of each corner at a slight angle. In the templates I provide, the angles are not included for those of you who want to keep the edges square. And if you do want to add the angles with a ruler so that they're identical in measurement, you can simply add those angled cut lines to the PDF download. Now, as I watch this back, I have to be honest, I kind of want to yell at myself for adhering the tape to the side flaps of this envelope rather than the bottom portion, because it would have been far easier to put the tape on the bottom flap and I would have gotten nice sealed edges. However, I seem to do things backwards sometimes and this was just one of those days. So in other words, I recommend that you glue or put double-sided tape on the bottom section and don't do what this girl's showing you because she obviously needs some more coffee. And because I did this backwards, I needed to add more tape to make sure that the edges were sealed. But I edited that footage out because who needs to be tortured watching that, right? <laughs> Now that the release paper is removed, I can fold up that bottom flap and there is a nicely created slim line envelope. This envelope fits a card that measures eight and three quarter inches wide by three and three quarter inches tall. And I realize there are various slim light card sizes, but if you need to, you can adjust the sizes of the flaps and the templates I provide to fit your card. The second envelope was constructed in the exact same manner, so I won't go through all of that, but I used the different measurements in the second page of the PDF template to make the flaps different sizes for a side folding envelope. And as you can see here, the card slides nicely this way too if you want this version. And there you go, top and side folding slim line envelopes that you can make with only one sheet of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Isn't that cool? Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and stick around because I have a few more videos that you may wanna check out. And until next time, happy crafting and ciao for now.